All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we got a new batch of World Tournament characters. Uh, we have got a new EZA here, the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, uh, who is now EZA. I'll add him to my EZA tag. Um, let's go and take a look at the build I gave him. Now, if you guys take a look at this, at, if you guys are, you know, you've been around on the channel for a little bit, you know what this means. This is the kiss of death for me. This means I have no faith in the character whatsoever. I'm looking at this Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man here. He looks horrible. I, I just, like, like you know, like, all right, like, we're going to jump in, going to do the showcase. Like, you know, what team am I going to run him on? Where am I going to run him on? And I'm just looking at this, and it's, damn, dude. Like, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, you just flat out, unfortunately, um, you can't release characters without defensive mechanics anymore. You can't, you can't, you can't. I mean, if the, I think a, a Dokkan Fest exclusive or an LR can be who, you know, would have like ridiculous, like, I don't know, like Piccolo Jr. in 2023 or something like that, right? Like, like a character like that can work, but not a world tournament free to, remember, uh, free to play characters have, he's easy aid, easy aid, and he's still under like 10k defense. Uh, you know, just, just to give you an idea of how low their stats are and how, like, the numbers that this guy has doesn't really mean much with how low his stats are. So, let's jump in. Uh, there's a couple of different places we'll need to showcase him because I do want to show uh, his various different abilities here, right? Like, he does get extra stuff against extreme class enemies. Um, so, uh, let's, I don't know, let's start by fighting uh, a super class enemy. And, and we'll just, we'll, we'll see how things are going to look. All right, guys, we are here in an event. Um, we, we need to do a couple of different runs because this guy has some restrictions. Now, I don't really mind a ton of restrictions um, when it comes to, like, free-to-play characters, stuff like this. I think, it, I think restrictions are a good way to make free-to-play characters, you know, decent and competing along with, you know, because, like, Jiren, for example, LR Jiren, uh, he doesn't have restrictions. You just throw Jiren on any team, and he's just a solid, powerful contributor, right? You know, like uh, LR in Evolution Blue Vegeta, right? Like, those guys are really valuable because you can just throw them on any team, which is nice. Um, so, uh, I, I figured I'd jump over here. Uh, we are on the, whatchamacallit team. Um, we're on the um, tournament participants team because Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, he does give extra support to Defender of Justice or Tournament Participant Category Allies. Um, here, let me just quickly throw up his... Here's what his sticker Ruski looks like. Uh, back in the day, I could give stickers to every single character. Uh, without Chain Battle, though, no longer the case. Uh, these are his 200% teams. Uh, we're going to run two in this video. We're going to run Topo's team, and we're going to run Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku's team, of course. Um, we could potentially try and pair him up with High School Gohan here. Although, I, I mean, High School Gohan is, is okay... Uh, like okay-ish or very mid like at, he at least has a defensive mechanic i mean he's definitely gonna be better than this great same man right here all right so uh let's just do a turn right here not really too good on links and stuff like that but again i do want to give a couple of different setups here uh now remember one big thing about super saiyan 2 great saiyan man here as we continue on uh he gets an additional 58 percent attack and defense if there's an oh my god two million okay animation is really not that bad I mean, well, actually, I, I think it looks quite good, right? I think this is a fine animation. I would love a Dokkan Fest for the, for this Gohan that fights Deborah. I would love a Dokkan Fest for that. I, I really would. Like, I, I, you know, like, people, you know, people are asking for, like, niche shit all the time for characters, right? Like, I would not mind a Deborah and Gohan dual Dokkan Fest. I, I, I think I, 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 like, I'd be in favor of that. Like, listen, you know... I'll give you guys the 17 and Piccolo Dual Dokkan Fest, and then, you know, I get the Gohan and Deborah one in exchange. All right, this this character... Okay, good. Don't worry. I know how to build my characters. Don't worry. No worries, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, they would have struggled with that really badly, I think. Um, okay, so one big thing, too, with Gohan. He does build up 20% uh, attack and defense with each attack performed up to 58%, which he literally just... We, we got that, like, right away. So that's really good. So, we actually got the Hidden Potential System additional normal, if you guys noticed. I mean, you know, it's 
oh, what we always get. <laughs> That's why, hey, uh, guys, I went full additional and additional normal right away. I guess to be fair, though, the additional normal still gave us value because it still allowed him to be fully built up. So that's fair. That's fair. Um, super attack effect for this guy. He gets 50% attack and defense, and then he does lower enemy attack and defense. Honestly, a nice, solid super attack effect. That's pretty good. Passive. This is where it gets bad. Three key, 180% attack and defense. He gets 20% attack and defense with every attack performed up to 58%, so we're fully built up already. He gives super class allies three key, 30% attack and defense. Then another 10% attack and defense for Defender of Justice and Tournament Participant characters. I, I brought us to a full Tournament Participant team, which obviously Topo does lead. Uh, then Gohan uh, gets an extra 58% attack and defense against an Extreme Class enemy. So I wanted to do a run against Super Class enemy. Then, of course, we'll fight an Extreme Class enemy as well. Uh, then he also debuffs Extreme Class enemies. Minus 20% attack, 58% defense. That's not the worst ever, so... Maybe we could use this guy in, like, Battlefield or something like that. I, I mean, I, I think that that's not a horrible idea, right? So he debuffs passively and then debuffs from a super attack effect. I've seen a lot of players, global players, struggling with the new Battlefield. Well, I mean, you could have just... Well, I mean, this video is going to go up while Global World Tournament is still on. You could literally get two copies of this guy just from missions. And I, he is going to have at least some semblance of a positive effect in that level 3 Battlefield, right? With the debuffs. It, you know, it is, he, he really is, so, there's that, uh, then he gets a guaranteed additional super against one enemy, which we saw last turn, and then he also guards if there's two enemies, so, we're gonna wanna see him against a villain, we're gonna wanna see him against two enemies, there's a lot of different, uh, things there for, uh, Gohan, here, uh, I'm gonna skip through this long turn right here, we'll come back next turn, um, and we'll kind of see how uh, Great Saiyan going to look fully built up next turn against a super class enemy. All right, so we're back over here. Um, Link-wise, we're not going to do the greatest. I mean, we do have Shocking Speed, and then we've also got, what, Hero of Justice activated. Um, but again, I wanted to get a couple of different setups for him. So we got Golden Warrior here, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Hero of Justice, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan Lineage, and Shattering the Limit. Um, I mean, Gohan is giving... 40% support to these characters. I mean, that that matters, but... Yeah, dude. I just... Like, they're they're joking, man. 336k defense? He So, he gets 50% from a super attack effect, and that's it. I, bro, this might be shocking to you guys. 500k raw defense? Uh, doesn't cut it. <laughs> Am I... Am I surprising you guys with that take? I, like, okay. A million raw defense after Superin mostly also doesn't cut it either. So, sure. All right, we're going to get a little bit of extra stats with the seven orbs from them because they give a uh, tournament participant character support. All right, uh, Topo is supporting as well, right? What What is what is Topo's support? It's, I, I got I to gotta double check. But, I mean, I guess uh, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan, he is on um, special pose. 5.5 right there? Okay. So, I mean, we got a lot of support going on. I guess I could have just ran full special pose and we could have gotten LR Ginyu around too, but... Okay, sure. One more. We got it. Triple super. Here we go. Okay. Um, I mean, that's a, that's a good turn. Will we get a crit? We do, and he finishes him. Okay. Because if Vegeta would have supered us there, we'd have been dead. We'd have been dead. Because, again, I, I this is, you know, one of those characters I don't believe in. So I gave him. I didn't give him dodge. I've been grinding a lot of equips lately, but I've been getting real. I've been getting like just like terrible bad luck. I haven't really gotten anything super good. Um, all right, I feel like we've seen what we needed to see from Gohan. Uh, you know, Gohan wants to be used against an extreme class enemy anyway. So um, if we get another turn, we'll come back. But uh, let's jump over to. Um, I, I might just go to maybe one of the immortal fights is what I might do. Like, Super Saiyan 3 Broly or something like that. You know, multiple enemies just to see his guard activated. But remember, Gohan does get the extra stats um, just against a um, extreme class enemy, which obviously we have to show. All right, uh, we are still in this. Um, so sure, let, let's go and see. This is a, lot, a little bit better of a turn because we're going to have UI Goku support up as well. So sure, let, let's see what this uh, turn is going to look like for us. Um, and then again, after this, we'll we'll head over to 
Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku's team. And we'll go to one of the um, Immortal fights. I guess I probably should have went God Mode right here. Tobo will be fine, right? This is a big super. Maybe I should have went God Mode here, actually. Oof. Yeah, uh, that's the defensive debuff was uh, a little rough right there. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go Super Saiyan 3 Goku team and head over to um, uh, w one of the uh, uh, against extreme class enemies. All right, here we go. So this time we're going to be going up against an extreme class enemy. Um, so Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man is going to get a little bit of extra stats um, from attacking an extreme class enemy. It's honestly, it's not a lot of extra stats though, right? It's just 58% attack and defense when there's an extreme class enemy, so not a huge number. Um, this is an enemy that's immune to being debuffed, but remember, um, at the at the start of turn, Gohan will just lower the enemy's defenses. Uh, well, attack, 20% attack, 58% defense. Could be very uh, helpful, though, in the third level of that battlefield. Again, I saw a lot of complaints about how tough battlefield is. I remember global players, I mean, it's... You guys are getting Battlefield at the same time as JP now, so Battlefield is going to be much harder than it has been. Um, basically, the entire history of Global. Battlefield's not going to be tougher, so. All right, so this is a guaranteed additional super from one enemy. If we get the Hidden Potential System, the proc, will he'll be fully built up already. We do get it. Okay, we get a triple super as well. So Gohan is now fully built up instantly. Perfect, perfect. So next turn, we'll be able to see him, um, you know, we're against an extreme class enemy. We'll also be able to see him guarding as well, since there's going to be multiple enemies. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have a pretty decent turn here. Uh, oof, to maximize how Gohan looks, I do probably want to try and keep... Because we're going to have super, um, we're gonna have high school Gohan next turn. Like, can I get away with ultimate Gohan in slot one? Uh... Probably so. Th this is a weaker fight, yeah. All right, let's do this. Um, so this is... We have ultimate Gohan support up and stuff like that. It's 370, okay. All right, le let's see what Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man is going to look like right here. Yeah, L or ultimate Gohan will be fine against this level of event. Even... Because this super is only 800k. And Gohan is guarding. So, I mean, what is this? Like 250 at most? Yeah, something like that. Of course, they both super attack instantly. God damn it. Okay. Whatever, dude. I'm just... you know, I, I, I should have just gone into a Dokkan event. Let's just get the stats. Let's just see what uh, Great Saiyan Man does, and let's get out of here, man. God damn it. Uh, now, remember, this is the first turn of Ultimate Gohan, so his intro defensive support is up uh, for Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man right now. Yeah, I, I, I mean... Uh, su support characters can always be handy, but it's, like, the second that, like, a boss is gonna super this guy, like, we just instantly die. Like, it's, it's like, he, he just has no shot. It's just hidden potential system, dodge, and pray is all you've got to, to go with with this guy. Honestly, after this turn, we're good. Because we do that, we do that, and boom, there he's guarding. So, again, he guards if we're fighting multiple enemies. He only has the guaranteed additional super against one enemy. Um, he gets the extra stats against extreme class enemies. That's it. Um, I, I, I mean, what should they have done for him? Uh, I mean, his guard should have just been baseline. That's it. Uh, and he also should have had one more thing as well. I'm not sure what. Maybe at, like an extra little bit of stats or something. You know, I don't know. Like, like the guard, he should just have baseline guard, and then maybe like a little bit of dodge, maybe against an extreme class enemy or something. Because um, it's like these supports. I mean, it could be, could be a little bit, a little bit iffy, a little bit iffy for him. And like the real content, it would be scary. So my my best best recommendation for this guy is battlefield um, or like a super battle road type setting um, to where we could take advantage of his passive debuff. The 20% attack down and 58% defensive down that he gives to villains, right? You know, in a lot of those battlefield stages, like against uh, the, you know, the pure evil boo, the the skinny boo, um, Garlic Jr. is a level three battlefield enemy, like against some of those guys, right? Like if one of the, like if, you know, if Garlic Jr. is physical, right? Like this guy would potentially work well against Garlic Jr., for example, right? If Metal Cooler 
you know, for Battlefield is going to be physical, this guy could be useful against him. That, I think, is what seems like where this guy could be useful. So, uh, that seems about it, though. All right, guys, just a little bit more here. Um, so, I just did want to show... Uh, so here we're in a fight where we could obviously just have Gohan's passive debuff. Well, I say Gohan, but Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. We have the passive debuff up right here, right? So we could see that he's actually got the debuffs on, um, Goku Black and Zamasu here. Um, so we'll just do this turn. We'll come back. I, I do want to get at least one turn of Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man next to high school Gohan. Obviously, we got to get the two of them next to each other. Um, and then we could see the two of them next to each other, and then we'll be good to go. The only problem is that... Oh, damn. God damn it, dude. It's so... Uh, I, I just jumped in here. Uh, he, here's here's the issue, is that we're going to kill... Like, this Zamasu used to be immortal. He used to be immortal. But now, his ass is just going to get killed before, before we get back to another turn, probably. No! Alright, so there's that. Um, no hidden potential system that turn. Okay. So, yeah, let's just see him next to high school Gohan. And then we'll have seen, you know, all parts of his passive, best linking partner, all that good stuff. All right, guys. So, obviously, next to, uh, high school Gohan, uh, Super Saiyan Gohan right here, we'll be able to get most of our links activated. And in between, next to Ultimate Gohan, we could even get Shocking Speed activated right there. So, we can get a lot of links activated, but all in all... Um, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, he's really not the craziest, right? Um, seems more like help for Battlefield, but I, I mean, I have seen a lot of complaints about Battlefield's difficulty recently, and the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, I think, can help out a little bit in there, right? With his debuffs and stuff like that. Like, sure, he doesn't have a defensive mechanic, but I mean, at least with the debuffs, you can help the team kind of be able to deal with it, right? Like, if, it, if Garlic Jr., you know, well, I, I mean, I don't know. A lot of people are using categories. Categories probably is a better way to go about Battlefield, but yeah. Anyway, all right, there we go. All right, so there was uh, this next World Tournament EZA. Eh? Um, again, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got right here. So this is Collision with Disaster. Great Saiyan Man, Super Saiyan 2. Uh, leader skills, SDR type key 3 and 100% of stats. Um, passive here is together in strength. Gets three key, 180% attack and defense at the start of turn. Uh, 20% attack and defense with every attack performed up to 58%. Um, super class allies get three key and 30% attack and defense. And then an extra 10% attack and defense for characters who are also in Defender of Justice or Tournament participants. Uh, then, uh, he gets an additional 58% attack and defense when there's an extreme class enemy. He... Passively debuffs extreme class enemies, attack and defense, attack by 20%, defense minus 58%. So that is something that could be very handy right there. Those debuffs, I, I mean, that's the value I'm seeing from this guy in Battlefield, really. Uh, then he gets a guaranteed additional super against one enemy, and then he guards against two enemies. That is not good enough. He needs to be just guarding baseline at even world tournament free-to-play characters these days like have got to be looking like that uh super attack is the explosive demon flash gets 50 percent attack and defense for one turn supreme damage the enemy then lowers enemy attack and defense links are golden warrior super saiyan shocking speed hero of justice prepare for battle saiyan lineage and shattering the limit um, and his 12 key multiplier is 140% normal. Um, again, these are his 200% teams. So, I mean, two top tier teams, Angel, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Topo. Obviously, Topo, I mean, it's got like Tech UI, EJL UI, Evolution Blue Vegeta, Jiren, right? Topo has a dominant team. Um, and Angel, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, obviously, is very good as well. Uh, and then here is his best linking partners. Um, there may be a character... No, well, I guess... I mean, Global has... It's only really Roshi, Jiren, Bunny Bulma, uh, and Cell Max that Global doesn't have. I mean, Global's pretty much completely caught up at this point. But uh, yeah, these are the best linking partners for Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Um, now, his he doesn't really have, I guess, restrictions like... So, well, I mean, his are my super class, like, you know, or allies, his support 
extreme class enemies he gets extra buffs against um but he is on a lot of category teams here so i mean he's on world tournament um he's definitely probably a, a help for world tournament i'm sure right it's not like world tournament is an invincible category or something like that uh he's also over here on the hybrid saiyan category team uh he's definitely not going to be a buff for that team no way uh, then he's also on the Majin Buu Saga team as well. Very good. Uh, Gohan is also over here on the Goku family category team. Uh, probably won't be too helpful over there either. Uh, then Gohan, or Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, he's also on the Sibling Bond category team. Okay. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man's also on the Kamehameha team. I, I hope we get Kamehameha as like a real leader sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, then, he's also over here on the Super Saiyan 2 category. That's pretty good. Super Saiyan 2 does not have a busted team at all. So, help there is definitely a good thing. Uh, then, he's also over here on the Exploding Rage category. Very, very, very uh, limited category. But we have had some very big options added to it. But more help there is not a bad thing. Uh, he's also on the Special Pose team. Right, so we could run Topo's team with full special pose, maybe potentially to make use of, like, LR Ginyu and stuff like that. Uh, then, uh, Gohan is also on Defender of Justice, so another kind of, like, niche team that he can help out on. Uh, he's also over here on, what is this, Power Beyond Super Saiyan? Yeah, this is the Power Beyond Super Saiyan category right here. That could be a great leader skill to come soon, definitely. Uh, Gohan is also on the Bond of Parent and Child. Yet another category that we really need a leader skill for, that one. Uh, then Gohan is also on Earthbred Fighters. Also a category we need a new, a new leader for. There's a couple of like really big, awesome, fun teams that could definitely use a bit more. Uh, and then finally, uh, he is on the Tournament Participant category team. So there we go. Uh, there is the EZA Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Uh, let me know what you guys think of him, but I think he's probably pretty bad outside of, you know, his debuff maybe being helpful in, like, a battlefield situation. I, I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm seeing from him.